Hello everyone, my name is Kevin Lee. The title of my presentation is Immersive Demonstrations are the Key to Imitation Learning. In this paper, we explore the effect of demonstrator sensory feedback on imitation learning by utilizing a haptic feedback glove and a robot arm. We are able to render fingertip and palm level force feedback to the demonstrator, allowing the demonstrator to feel interactions during manipulation tasks. We use this system, which is summarized in the figure below, to collect expert demonstrations for a pick and place manipulation task using three simulated grippers, the one degree of freedom Frank and Amy can hand, the three dove loop gripper, and the 20 dove manual hand. In order to estimate fingertip force feedback, we assume that when a finger contact with an object, its joints will apply flexion torques for the contact. The fingertip force can be estimated with the following equations. For the palm force, the base link of the simulated hand or gripper can be controlled with a 6 dove PD controller and the force can be estimated with the equations below. With collected demonstrations, we train a policy using imitation learning. In this work, a simple behavioral cloning baseline is adopted to imitate the demonstrator's behavior. Summarized in the figure below, all the data are normalized using min-max normalization method before used for learning. To implement the force feedback methods described previously, a sense glove force feedback glove is used to provide resistive forces to the uh, demonstrator's fingertips, and the Franca Amica robot arm to provide palm force feedback, both shown in the figure below. Resistive force uh, can be translated to a PWM signal to send to the force feedback Graph. To quantify the effect of force feedback on imitation learning, we consider three conditions, namely no force feedback, NFF, fingertip force feedback, FFF, and fingertip and palm force feedback, FPFF. With, with the platform, we collect demonstration for a simple pick and place task, defined as grasping a rubber duck and placing it into a tree. Participants are asked to repeatedly perform this task until five successful attempts are recorded for each condition. The uh, 10 participants were recruited to this study, giving 50 demonstration trajectories for each of the uh, nine learning tasks. So here are 450 in total. Here are more demonstrations in this slide. Here we investigated the fingertip force and the palm force that the participants used during demonstration. As is shown in the figures, with both fingertip and palm level force feedback, the participants are more likely to grasp the rubber duck with less force. This is very important when grasping some deformable objects. As shown in the videos, the robotic hand performance improved as the training processes. After 3000 epochs training, the robotic hand can grasp the duck very well. The table shows that with force feedback, both the human demonstration and the trained agent and pick and place the rubber duck faster compared to those without. The fingertip force and palm force are also investigated for the trained agent. And we found that the force feedback can also be improved, which is similar to that of the demonstrations. It can be concluded that both the fingertip and palm force can be significantly reduced with the corresponding force feedback. The trained agent also shows similar performance to the expert's demonstrations, which indicates that immersive demonstrations may be the key to imitation learning. 
In future, a more complex range of tasks will be investigated with more complex environment state information, particularly those where feedback, where feedback is vital for task completion. Thank you.